Assalamu alaikum. I am Asad Yusuf, uh, working as a senior medical physicist in uh, Fine University Hospital. Today, I'm going to give a career counseling lecture. Uh, I gave this lecture uh, at NAD last year, so uh, that's what I'm recording right now. So, uh, I disclose that I have no commercial or financial interest associated with the objective and content on delivery of this session. Where to go after the graduation? Um, I have completed my graduation in physics, want to pursue my career in medical field. I don't want to be a teacher. I want a practical field where I can apply physics. So this is a question uh, that's in the mind of physics graduate, how to pursue a medical um, career with the help of physics. So medical physics is a practical field where you can work with, but question again is how and where. So uh, once we able to understand what is medical physics, then we may explore easily. So it's a kind of healthcare professional with a specialized training in medical application, physics involving the use of X-rays and gamma rays, use of particulate radiation, <clears throat> ultrasound, magnetic and electric fields, infrared and ultraviolet, heat and laser in diagnosis and therapy. So where to go? In Pakistan, especially, um, the best uh, institute is PIAS, which gives degree of medical physics. It's located in Islamabad. It has a two-year degree program with the clinical attachment. And uh, they also give a project to the individuals. Um, there is a stipend and the self-finance program. Both are available. The other universities uh, usually give MS in physics, specialization in medical physics. Uh, there are a number of uh, institutes all over Pakistan you can explore. Um, our Han University Hospital is giving uh, training. Uh, this is a two-year training certificate program, structured and uh, following the guideline of WPM, IAEA, and um, Cancer Agency Canada. It involves a didactic and hands-on both. The other centers gives a one year or six month on job training for medical physics and it's a kind of job where you learn gradually from the seniors. So um, one should explore more venues, um, available scholarships. So admission tests of uh, PIAS postgraduate usually conducted in July and August, AKUH induct trainees every year in December. Job opportunities, uh, PIAS graduate usually inducted in PIAS center working if AKUH has a vacancy, then they hire. Um, list of cancer, cancer center hospital you can find in the following link. So radiation in medicine, Radiation in medicine um, consists of two, therapeutic and diagnostic. Um, radiation therapy and laser therapy are a therapeutic part, diagnostic involve radiology and nuclear medicine. So what is radiation therapy? Radiation therapy works by damaging the DNA within cancer cell and destroying their ability to reproduce. When damaged cancer cells are destroyed by the radiation, the body naturally eliminates them. Normal cells can be affected by the radiation, but they are able to repair themselves. So this is a radiobiology or biology of what happens when the radiation uh, interact. So there are two kinds of effects, indirect effect and direct effect. So in indirect effect, radiation interact with the water molecule as the body is composed mainly with the water. So the water molecule is composed into two and hydroxyl ion which cause the damage at um, produce a free radical and that hydrogen peroxide interact with the DNA and damage the DNA. So this is a flow chart of radiotherapy procedure. First localization, then prescription, done, setup, delivery and verify. And these are ongoing uh, verification. 
The professional involved in radiotherapy are radiation oncologist, medical radiation physicist, dosimetrist, radiation therapist, radiation oncology nurses. In Pakistan, we don't have a dosimetrist post in any institute. Type of radiation therapy, external and internal. External is uh, delivered with the help of LINAC or cobalt or proton, heavy ions, whereas uh, internal includes a seed implant, brachytherapy. Um, there are two kinds of brachytherapy sources, uh, L low dose brachytherapy and high dose brachytherapy. This is uh, just the curves of uh, the beams involved in radiotherapy. So this is a typical photon profile for a PDD person with depth dose, how the dose is deposited in the body with the photons. If the heavy if you have a low energy photon, then the skin dose is higher. If you talk about the proton, it gives uh, very low doses on superficial tissue, but high doses in, at the depth. Whereas the electron has a sharp fall off if you don't want to treat beyond the target. This is an old uh, pictures of uh, the therapies. And this is the modern technologies available. And all these technologies are available except proton therapy in Pakistan. So the goal is to give a uniform dose to the tuber. 5% plus minus commonly used criteria. Minimize the dose elsewhere, that is the normal tissue. Spare or limit the dose to the critical spectrum. And these can be done with these modern techniques. This is one example of uh, conformal dose therapy. So the role of medical physics in radiation oncology. Equipments, uh, selection, specification, acceptance, commissioning, calibration, quality assurance, whereas in treatment planning, management of QA treatment planning, beam data management, simulation, patient data for treatment planning, whereas in dosimetry, they used to do with those calculation formulas and special techniques, the special dosimetry, in vivo dosimetry. And also they play a role in radiation protection where the regulatory radiation survey, personal monitoring involved, and also the facility design, which is the initial part of uh, starting the radiation therapy department, and uh, academic administration. The role of MP in radiology in nuclear medicine is radiation protection, quality assurance and quality control, dosimetry, calibration, training, education, research, equipment selection, overall supervision of radiation facility. Diagnostic areas and application involved X-rays, gamma rays, ultrasound radiation, MRI, and therapeutic and diagnostic application of radionuclide involved technetium 99, PIT001, iodine 131. Radiation protection. These are some uh, rule of thumbs. The justification. Uh, it says risk versus benefit optimization which involves a LARA principle as low as reasonably achievable. And the limitation was defined with the help of the doses defined by the regulatory authorities. This is the typical bunker design, which in our, in our center. Myth of radiation among the masses. Fear they become radioactive. Radiation therapy will cause me to lose my hair. Radiation therapy is painful, permanent damage to the patient body. So these all are myths. Ah, so these are the answers of uh, this myths. The typical radiation levels in radiotherapy is monitor workers with 0.5 millisievert, which is way too low as per recommendation. And these are the other areas. These are the areas uh, for radiation in a hospital, radiology, nuclear medicine, radiation oncology, cath lab, RIA lab, operation theater, research lab, ward, what we expect from the trainee candidate or the student who want to do a research. 
Nuclear physics concepts, thermodynamics, basic electronics, basic concept of physics, radiation interaction with matter, math, very important, analytical skills, and computational physics is an advantage. And these are some experiments. So thank you for your interest and thank you for listening. I'm signing out. Um, keep watching and sharing our videos.